Let's talk about new studies showing the real cause of diabetes and how we can totally prevent this terrible disease. Check this out. This is really important. Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist, get healthy now. Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Today, I want to talk about new studies showing the real cause of diabetes and how we can totally prevent this terrible disease. But before I get into that, if you like what I do, give me a thumbs up. Tell other people, please subscribe, and also get a copy of my new book, Live a Cancer-Free Life. You know, we can really lower your chances of coming down with cancer in a huge way. And just by reading this book and following what I recommend, you know, we can lower it greatly. Four out of five people are coming down with cancer. That means look around you. Most of those people are going to come down with cancer, and you don't have to. Get a copy of my book. You can get a Kindle copy anywhere in the world or a paperback copy like this. And it's not going to take you days to read. This is pretty simple stuff. And just Google the title, Live a Cancer-Free Life. And it will come up, take you right to Amazon. Well, we have a lot of new studies about diabetes and what the cause is. A lot of retrospective you know, studies, actually, we, over uh, many years, it was about of eight years uh, using people who are not diabetic and people who are pre-diabetic and also uh, other oh, multiple, multiple, multiple uh, studies about diabetes and what the cause is. And what they have found, they, could, they gave sugar to people who were not diabetic. Didn't change anything, didn't make them predisposed to becoming more diabetic or pre-diabetic. They gave people who were pre-diabetic a bunch of sugar over days and days and days, and it didn't make them any more predisposed to have being more diabetic. And so that wasn't the cause. So what is? Well, most people figure, oh, it's got to be the sugar. Sugar causes, you know, everything. Most well, sugar is not good for sure. If you want to stay away from cancer, you got to stay away from sugar and also messing up your uh, good bacteria in your gut and causing you know, build up a bad bacteria, which is really not good. But there is another thing that messes up everything and causes diabetes. What they found is if you give people a lot of fat, like the American diet, the hamburger, the pizza, the French fries, you know, all those different types of things, a lot of fats around each cell go into, goes into each cell and causes insulin resistance. Now, this is moving you towards pre-diabetes for sure. So all that fat starts changing your gut microbiome, and that starts changing everything in your body, and you have a lot of inflammation attacking your pancreas after a while. So really not good. So what we found is the dietary fats in the American diet, <clears throat> which we have exported to the rest of the world, is really the main culprit in causing pre-diabetes and diabetes in a huge way. And animal products contain a huge amount of, you know, fat in them. You know, everything that you can think of, you know, fish, chicken, you know, beef, all those things, you know, pork, all of them have eggs, cheese, especially, you know, the American diet of the pizza and the Coke, that kind of thing is really not good. And moving us to, you know, we have a third of the people who have diabetes now. We're, all, we're moving towards half the people having diabetes. Look around you and see who's, who's obese. Not good. You know, back in the 1950s when I was a kid, there were not very many fat people around. In fact, I can't even remember a, a single person that I was connected to that was obese. That was very unusual for sure. And... Uh, you can understand why, because, you know, look at all the ads you have on TV for the burgers, the shakes, and uh, all the stuff, and the fries, and the, uh, you know, the stuffed pizzas, and all this kind of thing. We are killing ourselves, for sure, and that's why diabetes is one of the biggest killers leading to strokes and heart attacks, losing your legs, going blind, on and on and on, and not good. Well, a little bit of fat, like some a little bit of omega-3s, which you can get in a capsule, you know, fine, good, 
But there's an overwhelming amount of fat in the American diet, which is not good. And that's why American people are, 50% of them almost are obese, not good, or, or you know, carrying around 10, 20, 30 pounds of extra weight, not good at all. So we can move in a whole, totally different direction, be nice, thin, athletic people, and not have diabetes. Well, if you have some kind of, you know, terrible problems, as far as health goes, give me a call at 831-869-9119. 831-869-9119. I reverse diabetes. You know, every week I have people, I just had a man call me from Tennessee and he has terrible diabetes. <clears throat> and we are going to change that for sure. 831-869-9119. Also, remember God, remember I love you, and also remember the only one you have control over is the one that ends at the your skin. The one on the inside of that skin you have control over. And you can change your life because you deem it to make uh, deem to make a change in your life in a big way and make some changes happen and create some discipline and also some order in your life and also uh, put in a routine so that you can be happy and healthy and no one else can do that for you. It, only you, you and connecting with your higher power within you and you can change your life, I guarantee it. Sometimes you get help from other people like me, but the, uh, the whole thing comes really down to you yeah, I can't do anything for you, but you can do things for you and make a huge difference in your life. Remember, I love you.